What's up y'all, it's Jimmy. Coming to you guys with another video. Before we get into the video, as always, make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. And when you guys to subscribe, please make sure you guys are hitting that notification button. So getting right into the video, we have another review for y'all. This time, it's on a pair of Air Jordan 1 Lows. But this is not a pair that I have ever seen in person, and I doubt that some of y'all have seen in person. I think this is a new model that Nike and Jordan brand have dropped. I'll say I was a little skeptical at first when I saw the shoe on sneakers, but the colorway is a classic and it's a new model. And I figure why not give it a shot, you know, see them in hand, show you guys, see what they look like on foot. And I will say, you know, just from a first look, you know, I'm very pleasantly surprised. The quality on this shoe is out of this world. I don't know, like, I don't know if it's just me or if it's just in my head, but I feel like, just from like the packaging, the quality of the leather, the whole shoe itself is a lot better than your typical GR release. But getting right into it, here is the box that the shoes come in. So like I said, this is your Air Jordan 1, but a little bit different. These are the Air Jordan 1 Low Elevate. So basically they're like a platform sneaker and this is a woman sneaker. So I highly doubt a lot of guys slash men are gonna be wearing these. But if you wanted to, you probably could because in 2022, fashion doesn't really adhere to any gender. So it's really whatever you wanna wear. But getting back into the box, here's the box they come in. I feel like the cardboard they use for the shoe is not the shoe, but the shoe box is a little bit thicker than normal. I don't know, there's something about this box that feels like a really high quality box. The box itself is not like your, I mean, it actually is like your typical Air Jordan 1 box where it's like a pull out top, but right there you have Nike in red. And then moving down to the size tag, you have Woman Air Jordan 1 Elevate Low SE. Colors are black, gym red, and sail. These are a size nine and a half, which equate to a size eight in men's. And I'm not gonna lie, I actually don't remember how much retail was. I think it might have been 140 to 160 if I'm not mistaken, but definitely your typical price point for an Air Jordan 1. And finally, here are the shoes. So just at a first glance, I will say they are probably not for everyone. This right here, I'll get into a little bit later, but I did just want to talk about the shoe a little bit. Let me try to get this in here. Um, it's not really gonna go in there, but you guys can see the shoe. I mean, this is a platform shoe, right? If you're a guy and you're wearing this, you're probably someone that has like a very, I wanna say elevated fashion sense. You know, you're not wearing like your typical height clothing and things like that. I myself, I didn't buy these for that purpose because I think my fashion sense is that elevated because I honestly probably wouldn't ever really wear these because they're not really my style. So getting into the nitty gritty detail of the shoe, here is the outsole of the Air Jordan 1 Elevate SE. So not your typical Air Jordan 1 outsole, even though it does slightly resemble it. I know it's a little bit different. It's a little bit similar. Um, I don't know why they decided to go with this different traction, maybe because it's like a thicker midsole. It needs a different type of traction, or maybe I might be pulling that out of nowhere. But nonetheless, you basically have an Air Jordan 1 outsole with hits of that red and then the sail. And then moving up to the midsole of the shoe, this is what makes the shoe quote unquote elevate, AKA like a platform shoe, the very thick and chunky midsole. I'll say this midsole right here is probably about three inches, maybe two and a half, maybe even three and a half. Um, I don't have a ruler on me, but it looks about, I wanna say like at least three inches so very thick midsole compared to your typical Air Jordan 1, especially the Air Jordan 1 Lows. If you guys have like a pair of like pure Platinums or like the Starfish, I don't know, there's something about the Air Jordan 1 Lows that seem even thinner than your typical Air Jordan 1. But this one right here is a true platform shoe. So to all my short kings, you know, if you guys wear this, you guys are easily getting three inches to your height. And one thing I want to note is I usually really, really hate the look of platform shoes. Like, I don't know, just for myself, like unless they're like a boot style shoe, if they're like van platforms, I've always thought those looked a little funky. 
but maybe it's like the inner height piece in me or something but these actually look really fire like they i'm not gonna lie to you guys like they look really nice like i could see myself wear them probably not with shorts because i think that would be a bit much but with a pair of like maybe trousers, some baggier pants. I think these would actually be really fire on feet. And then moving on to the uppers of the shoe, you have your classic Air Jordan 1 low upper. I'll say the quality on this leather is definitely a lot better than most of the Air Jordan 1s that we have been receiving. And I'm gonna tell you guys that's not just in my head, just based off of the feel, the cuts, the stitching, everything about this shoe seems like a higher quality shoe. I'll say the only thing different about this Air Jordan 1 low is on the back portion where you typically have your wing logo stamped. This has your wing logos just stitched in and almost like perforated up so you can see the shape of it but there's no actual stamping of the wings logo. And another thing to note on the inner portion of the shoe, I don't know why Nike decides to do this but on the midsole, it doesn't actually wrap all the way around. There's like a little dip right there. So the leather right there is a little bit more exposed. I don't know why Jordan Brand decided to do that, but I actually think it looks kind of unique, kind of cool. Like I know it's a very minor detail, but it's something when I look at it, I'm like, okay, that's actually kind of interesting. And then when you move on to the tongue, the tongue is an all leather tongue with no Nike Air tag. The portion where the Nike Air tag would be is this in, so just like the Wings logo, you can see the shape, but there's nothing actually there. So it almost seems like a non-branded Air Jordan 1 low because there's no Nike Air tag and there's no Wings logo on the back. And you know how I was saying this seems like a higher quality shoe, and I feel like this definitely proves that the inner lining is the leather material and there also is like a suede backing right here. Cause I guess typically when you wear platform shoes, you know, like when you get blisters on the back of your feet, I guess that is pretty common. So if Jordan brand decides to add like this extra cushion right here for that purpose, shout out to them man, because they don't know or they probably do know how much it hurts when the back of your feet are cut up from wearing a pair of brand new sneakers. And it's something that is really cool and I'll show you guys a close up detailed look of is the insole of this shoe is a cork insole and it has Nike Air and a picture of Michael Jordan. I think in like, this was probably 1987 or 88 because he's wearing the Air Jordan ones and that was like probably his rookie or sophomore season. So they have a little graphic of him on this cork insole. Really, really dope detail. Like I'm telling you guys, Jordan Brand went all out when it comes to this shoe right here. And if you guys are wanting to not use the red laces, Jordan Brand actually did provide some black laces, which I would probably use instead of the red. I would put the black on and I really think this shoe would be extremely wearable. Like I'm almost very tempted to keep it. Like I don't know if I'd ever wear it, but it almost seems like a dope collector shoe and honestly a shoe that might go up in value eventually. And the last little piece of detail that I wanted to touch on is the little hang tag they provide. So this is something they used to do on like the 1985 pair, I believe, or, you know, they added with a bunch of like different Air Jordans, specifically the ones they did this where they had basically, you know, the Air Jordan 1 Elevate and they had the construction, the different materials, the different sections of the shoes. So really cool to see Jordan Brand add this touch of detail here. And another thing, which I think is also really dope, is they added like this little, I'm pretty sure it's not real gold or anything like that, or even gold plated, but they added like this fake gold Jumpman Jordan necklace. You know, I don't know how wearable this really is, but cool little touch of detail. You know, this is something that Jordan Brand doesn't really need to do, right? But it's cool to see them go above and beyond sometimes. And now I'm gonna show you guys how these shoes look on feet.
So I hope you guys enjoyed the on full look at the Air Jordan 1 Low Elevate SE in the bread colorway. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Are these a cop or a drop? I'll say for myself, you know, they're actually not too bad. And seeing them on foot, I don't really hate them either, you know. Like I said, this isn't going to be a shoe that is for everyone. But just from a collector standpoint and someone that loves the Air Jordan 1s, this is kind of like a dope addition to have or just have just because you know jordan brand is always doing something a little bit different and who knows i feel like this is a shoe that might eventually go up in price and it's gonna wrap up the video until next time i'll catch you guys later peace <music>